Hello and welcome to the Monday, May 13th, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from San Diego, California. The DA today had a diary with a follow-up to his diary from last week about using NS Lookup in Windows to debug DNS. And so a little detail that's often overlooked in DNS and that trailing dot at the end of a host name. A host name contains multiple labels and they're separated by a dot and that trailing dot is actually the root zone. If you omit it, then it's not necessarily a complete host name and a DNS suffix may be added in Windows. You can configure what suffixes may be added. That's typically your default domain name, the domain name of the network that you are connected to. So a little important detail that you better don't forget. This is also important if you, for example, ever ended up editing a bind zone file or something like this, and you forgot that training dot, then the domain name will be added at the end, which sometimes is what you want, but often it then sort of leads to these double domains at the end of the host name. And the Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, published a joint advisory as part of the Stop Ransomware effort regarding Black Basta. Black Basta has recently been seen attacking healthcare providers in particular. What's to me always the most interesting here is the initial access vector. In this case, spare phishing quackbot often delivered via spare phishing. Quackbot, of course, being far from a new malware family. And then also, as of February, this group is exploiting the ConnectWise vulnerability. In some cases, they're also exploiting valid credentials, meaning essentially credential stuffing. So credentials they found somewhere else. And of course, multi-factor authentication would be a good way to prevent some of these attacks. The advisory certainly makes a worthwhile read and uh, should give you some ideas as to how to protect yourself from this ransomware. Even if your business is not part of the healthcare sector, typically other ransomware groups tend to use similar attacks. And talking about threats to healthcare providers, the National Health Service in England has published an advisory that they are seeing possible exploitation of ArcSurf Unified Data Protection, UDP for short, vulnerabilities. Now, these vulnerabilities were originally made known in March, and I think I talked about them also. Tenable has released proof of concept exploits for these vulnerabilities. In particular, two of the vulnerabilities, one allowing an authentication bypass, and the next then allowing you to leverage this via a path traversal vulnerability could allow the upload and execution of code as a system. Sort of interesting that ArcSurf does advertise this product as a way to protect your data from becoming the victim of a ransomware. Let's hope that you get these systems patched before they actually become a new entry vector for ransomware actors. There's very little detail in the advisory from the National Health Service other than the fact that they're seeing exploitation of this particular vulnerability. And in other vulnerabilities, Google Chrome released an update last Thursday fixing an already exploited vulnerability. This is a use after free vulnerability in visuals that's rated high. And SolarWinds published patches for two vulnerabilities in its access right managers or ARM. The first vulnerability with a CVSS score of 9 is a deserialization vulnerability that can lead to remote code execution. And then we also do have an authentication bypass vulnerability due to hard-coded credentials that received a CVSS score of 8.6. 
Well, and this is it for today. So thanks for listening. Thanks for the students here in class in San Diego. If you're interested in any in-person classes, the next one that I'll be teaching will be mid-July at Sands Fire. And I'll be teaching our SEC 522 Defending Web Applications class. Take a look at the show notes. Typically below the show notes, you'll see a list of upcoming classes. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.